Okay, I'm here, and I've got four beers that I just received from uh, PT. Well, actually, I didn't just receive them. I got them a couple weeks ago. And what he sent me was uh, PT's Brown Ale. Um, this is his all-grain brown ale, and he made it uh, using five and a quarter gallons of water, or up to, he made a five and a quarter gallon batch using five and a half pounds of pale malt, that's all grain. Um, point, he breaks his stats down to the point decimal points. Uh, 0.34 pounds crystal 40, 0.34 pounds crystal uh, chocolate malt, 0.18 pounds crystal 60, 0.18 biscuit malt, two and a half ounces of uh, Cascade on the first wort, uh, 0.8 ounces of Amarillo hops, at 15, with 15 minutes left in the boil, and 1.4 ounces of Amarillo he dry hopped. Uh, the yeast he used was the Nottingham yeast slurry. Okay, so you can check out that label right there. Alrighty, and he also sent me his malt liquor, <laughs> high gravity malt liquor, um, using some flaked corn, some pills malt, wheat malt. Uh, magnum hops, hollow tower hops, German lager yeast, and he cold fermented at 50 degrees for two weeks and 34 degrees at three weeks. I'm not going to drink that today. I'm going to try his brown ale. In addition to that, he sent me two beers that he made using uh, Cooper's beer kits. The Australian bitter, which uh, he used 3.3 pounds of Cooper's light liquid malt extract to make, and the yeast that came with the kit, fermented at 68 degrees. Original gravity 1.044, final gravity 1.012, and this is the English bitter. See that? Union Jack flag. Uh, he made it up to 21 liters with a bitter beer kit, Mutton's wheat dry malt extract and about 250 grams of cane sugar. Um, he used the yeast that came with the kit. Uh, that is the, that, if it's the English bitter, it would be the uh, original series yeast. Uh, fermented at 68 degrees and primary fermentation 74. So, there we are. Thanks, PT. I'm gonna really enjoy those beers, but right now, I'm only gonna try one, and it's gonna be his brown ale, the all grain beer. So here we go. Um, got my trusty bottle opener here. And uh, let's see how we go. Oh, okay, let me, he's got a stat on here. It looks like he bottled it on September 29th. Um, he, he recommended going after this one first because the, the hop, uh, I want to make sure I got some of that hop aroma. I love Amarillo's, so this will be good. Okay, let's see. Oh, a nice pop. Probably uh, bottle this out of the keg. Uh, mm, smells good. I can smell the chocolate malt in there. Nice. Okay. So let's see how this pours. I have to use my makebeer.net glass. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Okay. Nice pour. Okay, looks like a beautiful head there. Smells nice. Mmm, I love that. I can smell the Amarillo, but he's right, it is fading. You gotta drink these dry hopped aroma hop beers fairly early in their stages. So here goes. Thanks, PT. Cheers. Very good. Yeah, I, I do taste the chocolate. It's very smooth. Very dry. It's very tasty. Um, kind of has a little bit of a roasty taste to it. A 
course, when you're using the chocolate malt, that's probably about right. I don't really note the biscuit malt. Um, I think it's just that chocolate malt that comes through. But it's very nice, very dry beer. Um, ah, well, it's yummy. Anyway, that's all I can say about this beer. Thanks, PT, and I'll talk to you soon. Um, I'm looking forward to the malt liquor. Oh boy, shoo, that just sounds like a beer. Yeah. We'll try that out. Thanks a lot, PT. Have a good one. Cheers.